it's Karen Harding and I'm a criminal defence lawyer from Auckland. Today we're going to talk about the concept of therapeutic jurisprudence. It's a new tool in the practice of law. Therapeutic jurisprudence is the study of the therapeutic and anti-therapeutic consequences of the law. Where litigants feel satisfied with court processes, believing them to be fair, they are more likely to comply with court processes, court orders and respect the outcome of judicial decisions, improving the integrity of the justice system. Embracing therapeutic jurisprudence as an underlying justice doctrine can enable processes to be developed that act as a therapeutic agent to maximise psychological and physical well-being. Therapeutic jurisprudence asserts that legal processes can impact on the well-being of participants. It is used as a tool rather than as an analytical theory of law. It uses the behavioural sciences to study the therapeutic or non-therapeutic impacts of the law. It takes into consideration that legal rules, procedures and the behaviour of legal actors can either promote or harm the psychological and physical well-being of all participants in legal processes. Therapeutic jurisprudence uses the findings of such studies to suggest ways in which the legal profession and court process can minimise the negative effects and promote well-being. It is an approach to law that is concerned with the effects of law and action not simply law on the books. The emphasis is on law being a helping profession. The study of therapeutic jurisprudence has evolved over time, going mainstream internationally across legal systems of many developed nations, such as the United States, and it has expanded significantly in Australia. It embraces all legal disciplines and all area of law, including criminal law. When applied to the criminal justice system, it can effectuate improvements throughout the justice system for the benefit of court users. Therapeutic jurisprudence has become the theoretical base for problem-solving courts. Therapeutic jurisprudence promotes active engagement with people, listening, being respectful, expressing empathy when that's appropriate, expressing support for rehabilitation plans, and using non-confrontational approaches. It draws on research from the behavioural sciences. Offenders, perpetrators of domestic violence and parents of children at risk often have substance abuse problems and underlying psychological problems such as the effects of past traumas. Court processes including the interaction with the judge can either aggravate or contribute to resolving the problems. Where litigants feel satisfied with the court processes, believing them to be fair, they will more likely comply with court orders and respect the outcome of the judicial decisions which will improve the integrity of the justice system. Therapeutic jurisprudence applied in the courtroom is likely to result in increased satisfaction from those involved in the court process. It's a tool that can be utilised in the specialist problem solving courts and mainstream courts and also in smaller courts that, that do not have the structures to have the specialised courtrooms such as in rural courts. Therapeutic jurisprudence has broad scope. I hope you found that helpful.